Eric Burgess here, and we've been given the formula for the area of a trapezoid, and they want us to solve for B. So I really like these problems just because numbers, you got to plug them in and do all these things, but with uh, with just symbols and, and variables and letters and whatnot, you can do just pure algebraic rules and manipulation. So it's pretty nice that way. So let's go ahead and solve this thing, shall we? So the name of the game is get B by itself. Now, sometimes you need a little bit of inspiration to tell what to do. So just looking at this, uh, the B is, in, is inside these parentheses. So that's going to be a problem. So we definitely need to get it out of there. We want to be able to separate the B from the from these parentheses. So I'm going to distribute this 1 half H into the parentheses. And my motivation for this is I don't want the B in these parentheses because it there's no way to, to separate it. So we say, okay, well, the area is equal. And this would just be 1 half. And then I'm going to put the B first just because. BH plus and then HB. Now, it does matter a lot if it's a lowercase or an uppercase B, okay? Because this lowercase B could stand for something else uh, and then the uppercase B. So they're not the same thing. I see students uh, occasionally make this mistake. They, they, they interchange them for upper and lowercase. Completely not correct. Do not do that. <laughs> you may screw up something really important, especially if there are times where you have both the lower and uppercase version running around. Okay, so now we've separated it out. And we can start to sort of solve it as if uh, everything else was a number except this B. So, right? If that was the case, we try to just separate it. And the first thing we would do is we'd remove this extra bit that's way over here, right? This is the easiest to get rid of because we can just do the opposite of it. So this is plus HB. So we're going to do minus HB. And this A is positive, right? I'm just going to make that explicit. And then we have a minus HB here. We have to do it to both sides because of equality. And when we do that, HB minus HB, well, these would be the exact same thing. If these were numbers, they would be the same numbers. So they would combine to be zero, right? They would go to zero. And anything plus zero is itself. So we have on one side, one half BH. And on the other one, we have minus HB plus A, capital A. All right, so here we can now get rid of all the stuff that's next to this B. So we see that all of the stuff that's next to this B is attached by multiplication. So if we do division, we'll actually get rid of it. Now, I'm going to do the 1 half and the H separately just to show how to deal with the 1 half because I see some students, that you're just coming back, you get a little overwhelmed by it. So let's go ahead and do that. So first, I'm going to divide both sides by H. So that part's easy enough. So the H's simplify out to 1, and 1 times anything is itself. So these go to 1. And so we are left with on one side negative HB plus A over, let me do that over a bit better, over H is equal to 1 half B. Now, when we divide by a fraction, it's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. And the reason for this is, look at this, if I have 1 half divided by 1 half, well, I can multiply the top and the bottom by a form of 1. Because if I multiply this whole thing by 1, that's, that doesn't change anything, it's the same thing. So if I multiply by 2 over 1 and 2 over 1, well, 2 over 1 and 2 over 1, this is really just 1, right? Because when you divide them, they are both kind of like... Uh, they're they're going to simplify to 1, and 1 times anything is itself. So still totally valid. And it turns out that these will always simplify when you, when you multiply by the flipped or the reciprocal version of the fraction. So you'll always get a 1 on the bottom. And then on the top, you're just going to do this multiplication. Now, in this case, it conveniently turned out to be 1, but this will not always be true. Uh, but you can see that we can rewrite any division of a fraction... By, as just the multiplication of its reciprocal, just in general. Like, I don't know, let me write it more like this. If I have a fraction A over B, and I, wanna, I want to divide it by another fraction C over D, so we're just pretending these are all numbers, why well, could multiply by a form of 1? So whatever it is on the top and the bottom, they have to match, because that's the same thing as 1. 
So I choose D over C, the reciprocal of this, and C over D, or am I bad? D over C. Now these, the C and the C simplify, and the D and D simplify, so on the bottom we have 1, but on the top we have A over B times D over C, and this is why this general form, since we didn't pick any numbers, this will hold true for all the numbers. So we say, oh, okay, so whenever we divide, we want to divide a two fractions, we can simply multiply by the reciprocals. These are equivalent statements. In fact, this is an identity. This is something that you actually learn in this chapter. Because this holds true for many numbers. Because we didn't pick any numbers to start with. So we could pick any numbers, just plug them in. And this would come out as a true statement. Some of the powers of working with, uh, with variables instead of numbers is you can make much more general statements. So anyways, this, this all boils down to is the, ha the handy dandy rule that we can just multiply by 2 over 1 to both sides. And that's the same thing as doing the division to get rid of this. Because when we do that, the 2's will simplify and we'll be left with B on one side. And on the other side, we'll have 2. Now keep in mind, this is being multiplied by this whole thing. Okay, so put parentheses. I didn't put my parentheses originally. You kind of need to because this has got to be distributed in. So this is 2 times negative HB plus A over H. Remember when we multiply fractions, the, they multiply straight across. So it's H times 1 and 2 times this whole numerator like we have here. Now at this point, we can say that this is our answer. We can actually say, here you go, this is the solution. Or what you can do is you can actually distribute the 2 in if you really want to, if you think it makes it look better. Negative 2HB plus 2A all over H equals B. And this would also be an acceptable form of the solution. You may have an instructor that has a certain way they want the answer presented, but they're equivalent statements here. So uh, that's all you got to do. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe. And if you're a Citrus College student, stop by online tutoring. We're there to help you out. And we'll catch you in the next problem.